Kind of an interesting little thing that I just don't think we're ready for or used to was released, and that is that um, Steph Curry's not going to start the All-Star game. Wait, what? How's that grab you? What the ab- absolute heck is going on? Yeah. See if Grandy's awake in there. And he is. Yeah. He is. I Honestly, should he start the All-Star game? I could. You could make an argument that they got it right, and I know... The popularity of the chef is certainly great. He hasn't had the best year of his career, and the team itself is a 12 seed. So I get it. It's a little shocking when you see the the starting lineup come out and the chef is not among the starting five. I will say this real quick, Mark, as we touch on basketball for a little bit. I do love, love the fact that they're going back to a traditional East versus West format. Thank God. Um, yeah, that thing felt fun for like two seconds, um, and then it just wasn't anymore. <laughs> yeah, so I, thought I, was, I, I thought it was I, stupid from the get-go. I'm with you. I'm with you. Well, I get that they were trying to do something, and uh, and I fully understand, like, you know, all-star games. Like, it's it's difficult. It's just not grabbing people's attention the same way anymore. But uh, by the same token... I, I don't know if it matters who's playing who if you're going to play like that. That's kind of the way I look at the NBA All-Star game. So from that standpoint, um, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look more at who I want to see perform rather than any kind of like who's earned this, that, or, or otherwise. So for me, am I biased? Of course. Should Steph Curry be starting? Of course. He's Steph Curry. LeBron's starting. He doesn't deserve it if you just go by basketball. Uh, I don't know about that. He's having another great year. Uh, so. Laker fans will tell you he hasn't even been their best player. Right. Laker fans. He hasn't. No, that's fine. Lakers are better than the Warriors, so LeBron Barely. gets... Yeah. LeBron gets the start because he's LeBron James. He's the icon and maybe the greatest player of all time. And, you know, the Lakers... <laughs> That's just the way that goes. I mean, Steph Curry is like right there in that conversation if that's the way you're going to go about it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm not saying he's right there in the conversation for greatest of all time, but you're talking about an all-time great. And if that's yeah. the way if that's the way you're going to go about um, making your, your decisions, when I'd have no problem if that's the case – then I don't know. Why does that apply to LeBron and, and not Steph? Yeah, it just I'm sure the vote comes down and, you know, the vote came down for LeBron James. And I don't know if Steph was just on the outside looking in or what, but he's going to be an all-star. Steph's going to get added to the team. So ultimately, does he need to start? And I'm looking at the stories right now. Steph snubbed from the all-star game starters. Well, I don't know. When you're the 12 seed, I don't know if you can talk about being snubbed. I don't know. I mean, that's an interesting take. I've not really thought of the NBA All-Star game that way in the past where your seeding matters. Yeah, I think it does matter in terms of, you know, how good how good are you for a team that is actually doing well? And, you know, you look at the the Eastern Conference and is Donovan Mitchell a starter? Did he get the nod, or did he not get the nod? Because their team is terrible. Yeah, and he's having a great year, and so I don't know. Right, but he's but he's Donovan Mitchell. Like we're talking about Steph Curry, right? I, I mean, right. we do this in All Star games. So do you in, take in, out Gilgis Alexander, who's having a tremendous year for one of the best teams in basketball? So because Steph is Steph, now Gilgis Alexander doesn't get to start because he doesn't have the same reputation. That to Correct. me is more unfair than taking <laughs> I mean, taking uh, the chef out. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I mean, I, I, again, I don't look at these things, nor do I think we should, in terms of of fairness. If you if you want to talk about making the All Star team, that to me is a little bit different in terms of starter. Um, and again, look, I know this comes down to a lot of different numbers. There is a metric here, and and uh, and he didn't win. Um, you know, not enough, uh, not enough Warriors fans rocked the vote apparently, but, uh, it's 50% uh, fan and yeah. then it's 25% player and 25% media. So 
I would imagine that the fan vote, the chef was high enough in the fan vote to be a starter. So it's probably his peers and the media that uh, denied him his chance to start in the All-Star game. Well, I, I, I mean, obviously, it's all, it's all a baked cake. So it's all, it's all part of it. Um, listen, you're never going to get me hot and bothered over, uh, over the, the results of, uh, of, uh, of an All-Star game. Um, or anything attached to it, for that matter. But by the same token, I just sort of, I don't know. Like, I, that, that's, it's, it's jarring in a way that you just would not expect. Um, I do think there are certain players at certain levels where you get to a point where it is almost like it's, it's a chair that, that, uh, that is kept warm by certain people until they get up and leave. LeBron is one, and so is Steph. Um, and so, you know, I, I do think that those things, not that you can really concoct it this way, but I do think those things kind of go hand in hand. If you're going to still have LeBron starting in that game, then, yeah, you would still want Steph starting in that game. Yeah, I, I don't see it that way. And, uh, you know, you, I look at players who deserve to get that chance and those accolades, and so... If it's Shea Gilgis Alexander who's having a better year than Steph and his team's having a better year than Steph, he shouldn't have to wait his turn until Steph is really not playing well enough to where he then gets a chance to start in the All Star game. You pick the guys who you think should start, and it's the media, and it's the fans, and it's the other players who vote. And if it comes down that they pick a guy who's more deserving over a guy who's got more of a career accolade, then I think they made the right choice. Um, look, Shea Gilgis Alexander has been absolutely out, uh, outstanding. So um, there's uh, there, there's no there's no issue there. I do have this question, maybe just collectively in the room here. You guys can all help me because I don't know how how do they go about deciding who the captain of the starters is. Interesting. Do we know? Does anyone know that? I don't know uh... because yeah, because LeBron is not just a starter; he's the captain. Of the uh, the West starters. And who's the captain of the East? Did you see that? I did not I'm, see that. It's Lillard, Halliburton, Tatum, Giannis, and Joel Embiid are your uh, your five Eastern starters. I would imagine it to be Embiid or, or Giannis, but I have no idea. I have the answer for you if you'd like. Yeah, what's the answer? So LeBron was the captain of the West and Giannis the captain of the East. They are the captains because they received the most fan votes from, from their conference. Okay. Fan okay. vote leaders. So there you go. Yeah, and being a captain gets you probably not a thing other than uh, maybe you get to go out there for the coin toss. <laughs> well, but no, like, I, I, I mean, it is interesting that, that LeBron, I mean, we've talked about the television ratings being driven by LeBron and Steph, but, but with a, a little bit of an edge to Steph through the years for a long time in this league. Um, for LeBron James in, uh, in year 20 now, uh, to still be getting voted captain and, and Steph's not even voted in as a starter. I, 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 I find that interesting. Yeah. I mean, it, again, it's the three components and he obviously won the fan vote. Lucas said that he's the captain because he won the fan vote. And so the players and the, the media obviously thought enough of him to where, he got enough of their votes, too, to where he commanded a spot in the starting lineup. And I know Steph was among the top in the fan vote. So I think that it comes down to his fellow players and maybe the media as well. And I don't know if it's because the Warriors are having such a down year or you, or you felt like this is a year where you can take a shot at Steph Curry and you can kick the Warriors while they're down. But that's where the, the snub came from, not from the fans. I know. You you do realize that the Warriors are one game behind the Lakers in the standings, right? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So I, I I don't I don't I don't know that that's part of the argument, like what their record is. They're they're one game behind the Lakers. Right, but if you're in the media and if you're a, another player and you see the Warriors are not in the playoff spot, they're not in a play-in spot, this would be a chance if you wanted to take a swipe at them, you could do it in this fashion. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. I just find it. I, I yeah, I find the whole thing jarring. Like, there, there. It, it's like uh, if you grew up watching the MLB All Star Game. The American League shortstop was Cal Ripken until it wasn't going to be Cal Ripken, and he needed to retire for it to not be Cal Ripken. 
Um, and, and like there are just certain positions. West, oh, point guard, all star. That's Steph Curry. Uh, uh, until it's not. <laughs> so I find it jarring. Yeah. Um, and I and and I I also think. You know, if you, this isn't the way it works, and I know that there's a lot of other voices involved in this, but uh, if, if you really boil down to what this is all about and, and the fan interest, uh, there's no doubt that they would rather see him play than, than anybody else, for that matter. And I would imagine he will be named as a reserve, and you're going to wind up with seven reserves and, you know, two guards, three front court, and two wild cards, so... Those reserves will be named on February 1st, so next Thursday. And you get to next Thursday, he'll be named as a reserve. And I think as we have this discussion about regular games, when you get into the finishing lineup, I would imagine Steph Curry is going to be in that finishing lineup. I, I, would, uh, I would hope so. Yeah, we'll see. Although, Just again. one more piece to this. The fan rank, and this is according to SportingNews.com, LeBron was one, the Joker was two, Kevin Durant was three among the Western Conference in fan voting. Interesting. Yeah, they didn't yeah, break it I out mean, any further than that. And in the East, it was Giannis 1, Tatum 2, and Bede 3. No, I knew it was close. I, I, I knew it was close. I knew Shea was gaining on him. Steph did have the lead at point guard for a little while, um, but uh, couldn't hold him off. 